Hyperliquid today is the best environment I've seen for crypto airdrops since Solana in 2023. In today's video, I'm going to break down all of the applications, protocols, and strategies that you can look at to potentially qualify for airdrops on Hyperliquid. Now let's get into it. To start, let's talk real briefly about what Hyperliquid is and why I'm looking at it at all. Hyperliquid is the leading decentralized perp exchange. So you trade directly through your wallet and you trade perps. And it's grown like crazy. In fact, the price of the token is up a lot from a low of around $10 in April to nearly $40 today. The market cap is up over $11 billion. Volume is up and deposits on the platform are up. We can see all of the different stats here on DeFi Llama. They're just all straight up and to the right. And I know some people are already going to say, well, why are you talking about this when it's at the top? Well, unfortunately, if you're saying that, you need to know that I did this video three months ago. Hyperliquid will run in 2025. Here's why. Four months ago, why Hyperliquid is revolutionizing crypto perpetuals. One month ago, Hyperliquid and Unichain metrics surge. Four months ago, Hyperliquid crypto overview. Five months ago, Hyperliquid's explosive, explosive growth. I could go on. In fact, the first time we covered Hyperliquid was on my newsletter back in the beginning of 2024. So do the math about 16 months ago. We covered it as a potential airdrop. So if you want things even earlier, subscribe to the newsletter. If you want them still early, subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's get back to Hyperliquid and airdrops. Ecosystem is booming. The chain's taking off. There's two main categories of airdrop qualification that I'm going to talk about here. First is for hype itself. If you look here at the market cap to FDB ratio, you can see that most of the type, most of the hype is currently out of circulation, two thirds about, which is a risk, but is also an opportunity because if you're looking for airdrops, you're looking for ways to potentially qualify for this if they airdrop it in the future. The second part, and I think this is actually the more lucrative one. The second part is going to be qualifying for airdrops in the hyperliquid DeFi ecosystem. Many of these, many of these protocols on here that you can see do not have tokens yet. And in fact, many of them not only don't have tokens, they have active points programs. And points program usually means future airdrop. Sometimes protocols drag them out too long, but usually it means future airdrop. All right, so to start, let's talk about real briefly qualifying for an airdrop from Hype itself. If you want to qualify for it, then the most straightforward way is probably to trade on the platform. That's how Hyperliquid makes its money. They have a lot of volume, about $224 billion of volume so far this month. It's the highest month ever. And so if you choose to try to qualify for it, I think using their, and so if they choose to do a second airdrop, then I think there's a good chance that they do it to people who are using the core product of their platform not only because they want to reward people who are paying them fees, but because most traders are unprofitable. That's just how things tend to go. However, uh, Hyperliquid needs people to be profitable to keep using the platform because otherwise they lose money. Either they have nothing to trade with or they eventually they say, okay, I'm going home, right? I'm, I'm withdrawing everything going home. If they airdrop those traders who are doing a lot of volume, then that suddenly moves more of them from the unprofitable to profitable category. And when they move them to profitable, suddenly those people are more likely to keep trading in the future. So that's the first way to qualify. Now, unfortunately, it's likely to be less lucrative than the first airdrop was for the simple reason that Hyperliquid has a lot more users now and a lot more volume. They had a very successful first airdrop. Problem now is, as we mentioned, the perps volume has exploded. It was already growing when they did their first airdrop back towards the end of 2025. And now it's much, much higher. So you are competing with a much larger pool of people, a much larger pool of volume. It's going to be tough to stand out. Another way that you may be able to qualify, and that's going to tie into these other things, is Hyperliquid has gone from just being a perp dex to also a general purpose layer one. I think there's a good chance they want to incentivize people to actually use that layer one. So if you use some of these other platforms we'll talk about, like Hyperlend, Felix, Hyperfi, etc., a lot of these are far less used than the main Hyperliquid exchange. And I think that you're likely, I think there's a likelihood that if they do another airdrop, they in some way want to reward people who are using their 
new product since that's what they're trying to bootstrap and tokens are of course a way to bootstrap new protocols and tokens are by design perfect for bootstrapping new products and new networks the second type of potential airdrop on hyperliquid are governance tokens for one of the many growing DeFi projects on hyperliquid if we go back over to DeFi llama we can see some of them here and some of these have tens or hundreds of millions of dollars in deposits. If you look at fees and revenue, a lot of them are also generating substantial amounts of daily fees. And so to start to teach you how to do this yourself, what I would say is you want to look at the top DeFi protocols on here and you want to see which ones don't yet have tokens and which ones are specifically hyperliquid and native protocols. And by that, I mean, you see the number of chains they're on they're on one chain or maybe they're on two chains but hyperliquid is the main chain for example morpho great protocol but it's on 18 chains its value of the value of its token is unlikely to be correlated with hyperliquid closely whereas something like hyperlend felix those are exclusively on hyperliquid meaning that if they launch a token they're probably going to give it to people who who use it on hyperliquid and its value is going to be closely tied to the success of the hyperliquid ecosystem. So what I would look for here are protocols that are just on hyperliquid and that don't have a token yet. And luckily for us, pretty much all of these don't have tokens yet. Hyperlend does not, Felix does not, Hyperfi does not, uh, and, and so on and so forth. And even better, a lot of these have active points programs. Uh, so let's let's go through a few of these now. Actually, wait, real, real quick. Hold, hold up. The reason why I'm highlighting airdrops on hyperliquid specifically is twofold first it's growing right so the beauty of a growing ecosystem for airdrops is that by the between when they do the snapshot and when they actually launch the token ideally the protocol has grown so maybe it only had 5,000 people using it during the snapshot but by the time it actually launches it is 20,000 people using it those are the airdrops that are most valuable because you're basically getting in early, but you're getting in early through using the protocol. So they reward you rather than getting in early by investing. So that's the, that's the first reason, right? It's, it's growing. The second reason is that almost all of these applications don't have tokens and they have points programs. And what that means is they're prime candidates to do a future airdrop. Reason being that airdrops typically are protocols without tokens that launch a token and to do that initial distribution they want to get that token in the hands of their users and so they airdrop it to them and it's one of the beautiful innovations of the of the DeFi space so let's look at some of these protocols now for real first we have hyperlend nearly 300 million dollars in tvl it is a high performance lending protocol on hyperliquid evm etc etc this is what it looks like it uses the hyperliquid hyperliquid uh, colors but what i want to highlight here is the yields themselves are actually not very good so you can deposit hype you can deposit ubtc ueth you can deposit one of several stable coins you're looking at like one to two percent yield not really anything to write home about however what you can earn are points you earn points for depositing in here and you earn points for for referring people and so so you can take something like your wrap staked hype and then in addition to earning yield on it you can bring it over here and you're not really going to earn any extra yield however you can earn some points towards the airdrop so if and when they eventually launch a token you will likely get some sort of allocation in there and this is just all speculation right it's speculation based on what protocols have done airdrops in the past and what qualifications they used for those airdrops so educated speculation next up we have felix what is felix it's a collateralized debt protocol borrow against quote blue chip chip collateral and earn native yield i'm reading their description uh, and, and you your native yield with their felix stablecoin all right so basically they have their own stablecoin fe usd fe of course standing for felix and by providing collateral you can then borrow that stablecoin let's take a look inside the app this is what the inside of the Felix app looks like. If we go to the earn section, then we can see that they have stability pools for hype and UBTC, 
and then they have lending for a couple different stable coins, USDE and USDT zero. Now, one thing I'll note here is that this is pretty much the only place I've seen in Hyperliquid where you can actually earn interesting yields. You can earn nearly 20% for supplying hype. You can earn 17% for supplying UBTC, and you can earn over 7% on stable coins. In addition to that, Felix also has a points program. So uh, not only are you not only are you earning what I consider to be pretty good yields, but you also can can earn points. And if you go to their points documentation, they say users can earn points for their usage of Felix. There is no public end date or recommendations on how to earn point. So they're being a little bit coy about it as these protocols often are, but oftentimes if there is an airdrop, points are a good way to qualify for that. Next up, we have HyperFi, and I'm pronouncing it like that because it's Hyper with a P-U-R-R, -R, as you can see here. They have $136 million in total value locked, annualized fees of $656,000. And what is HyperFi? You might ask. Basically, it is a place where you can deposit assets, you can borrow a stablecoin, USDXL, and they have some features built in to earn leveraged yield. If we actually take a look at the app itself, then we can see they have a dashboard section to see your own positions. They have a market section. They see all the various markets available on here. Uh, and, and they have a vault section as well. Uh, so if you, if you look at the markets themselves, then the yields are somewhat better than and the Hyperlend, uh, but not as good as Felix. So for example, we can see the borrow APY here is on loop type is 10.52% on per meme coin. It's 10.52%. Uh, some of these other tokens, it's, it's also uh, similar or, or lower. So, you know, not horrible, but also maybe, maybe not uh, the sort of thing to get that excited about. Uh, on their specific pooled markets, uh, it, it is uh, quite low. For example, less than 1% on this. But the reason we're here is not yield ultimately. The reason we're here is potentially earning airdrops. And you can see here, these deposits are el eligible for HyperFi points or HP. Now, the thing to note about these is that it says here they'll be available in a future update. So right now, you don't know how much you're earning. You just know that you're earning it. And you know that you're earning it more for certain pools. Specifically on the hype pools, you're earning more. You can see see this 3x right here. Uh, so if you really wanted to juice up your yield on this, you could deposit, you could borrow, you could redeposit and loop it like that to earn, earn points from depositing, points from borrowing, etc. Although if you do that, you will you will uh, lose lose a bit to to the fact that the borrow APY is greater than the the uh, deposit APY. One strategy you might look at would be to deposit stake type, borrow hype, convert that back to stake type, and and repeat because the stake type is going to earn yield. The problem you're going to run into there is that you are ultimately going to earn fewer points because you have that boost on points for depositing hype itself, the 3x. So even, even though you may be earning like 1% yield, uh, you're going to miss out on the points. So for me, if I wanted to maximize points, I would probably just deposit some of the assets that you can actually earn the boost on. And in fact, USDE actually has both decent APY and points. Uh, so I would I would probably look into that if I had some stable coins that I wanted to put to work. Next up, next protocol is Hyperbeat. This has $89 million in deposits. Like all of these, it's growing. And you, know, you can look, pretty much all of these has similarly strong growth. Um, Hyperify is maybe a little bit more, but Hyperbeat, very strong growth, and these are automated vaults that optimize your returns from top DeFi protocols. That's their description. So you look here, it's kind of a retro website. It says ownership goes to the believers and doers, not rent-seeking insiders. Okay. Like the sentiment, I guess. Um, I do like the sentiment. Uh, but you click into it, you know, definitely a sort of older style website. Um, but... Decent, decent APY on some of these things. Hyperbeat USDT, they've got 25%. Hyperbeat Ultra Hype, they've got 6%. And even better, look at all these points. So 
a lot of these things, you can see you are earning rewards from all these different protocols here. Um, oftentimes there are points rewards from all these different protocols. So it's kind of a cool place to manage, manage all of your, manage all of your uh, positions in a single, a single spot. And on top of that, Hyperbeat also has their own points called hearts. You earn these hearts by depositing into their protocol. In some of these pools, for example, this Hyperbeat Ultra Hype, you are earning rewards from like five different protocols, six different protocols all in one place, which I think is pretty cool. Now, next up, we've got HyperPi. What is HyperPi? HyperPi is a part of the MagPi ecosystem, an ecosystem that exists beyond just Hyperliquid, but it's a Hyperliquid specific protocol within the MagPi ecosystem. And they've already said explicitly they're going to do an airdrop. You can see here, 30% airdrop, and they say 43.5% of the, the HPP, which is they're going to be their token, reserved for drops holders. So drops are their points. And this one here, pretty straightforward. You can stake some hype. So if you wanted to look at all these, I mean, I would say the first thing to consider Another points program that isn't specifically on Hyperliquid, but that you can qualify for through some of these strategies is Upshift. Upshift is a protocol that brings assets like Bitcoin and makes them tradable on non-Bitcoin chains like Ethereum, like Hyperliquid, etc. And you may have noticed it back when I was showing you Hyperbeat, you see this 5x Upshift points. And that's because those strategies use Upshift assets like UBTC. So you can see here on Upshift Points Program site, the Hyper EVM pools where you can actually earn points. Uh, and so I think if I was constructing an airdrop strategy on Hyperliquid, I would definitely want some exposure to that since I, I truthfully do think Upshift is going to be pretty big. And then the final protocol that I want to highlight is going to be HyperSwap. HyperSwap is a DEX on Hyperliquid, $70 million total value locked. Volume is pretty high. 24 hours of $46.52 million. The peak of volume last week was $77 million of daily volume. And although the Hyperliquid native spot DEX is still the premier DEX in Hyperliquid, I think Hyperswap does have a chance to grow if there end up being a lot more new tokens launched in the ecosystem. And they have a points program right now. You can see this here on their website. Track your progress and join the HyperSwap points program. And how do you qualify for those points, you might ask? Well, if we hop over to their documents, then we can see that you earn it by swapping, providing liquidity, earning yield, and optimizing capital efficiency. Basically, just use the platform. Trade on it, provide liquidity to it, and you will earn points. If you want to see more videos with airdrop strategies like this, be sure to like and subscribe so YouTube shows you more of them. And if you want to take the next step, check out my newsletter at newsletter.dynamodefi.com. Every week I send out a yield or airdrop strategy there. Thanks for watching and until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.